welcome to the Mary Lou Cooking Show. Today, we will be cooking up a roll cage in an RX-7. That's right, last day! Well, it's not really last day. I lied completely, entirely. But, coolest thing ever, coolest thing ever, coolest thing ever, coolest thing ever. Okay, so, super excited. <gasps> Welding! That wasn't very specific. Anyway, been waiting for this all day. Two mornings ago, I was over here, I didn't film, I didn't do anything because it was before work, like actual work work. I finished it, kind of. So I got it all tacked in like big tacks, like big tacks. See, big tacks. Okay, so tacked in. Um, so I mean, it, it's very solid still. Um, door bars. They're tacked, but the ends aren't tacked so that we can move them so we can weld under the door bars. But, um, John, my master fabricator friend, who is amazing at welding and all things with one leg, um, is on his way to weld it up. Yay! Something to note, which I had no idea about, and I'm very glad that I have someone who knows what they're doing. If you put these back bars in, right, like I was saying, this is a four point roll cage, so one, two, three, four points of contact to the body. So putting these two back ones in would be a six point. If you do that before the main portion is welded up completely, the amount of heat and everything else with welding can actually fold up your car. It can actually pretzel a car. So you do this and then you do the back and then you do the front intrusion bars, which make it the eight point. Formula D specification roll cage. I'm really happy. When John is welding, I'm going to get the hubs pretty much finished. Um, I have to take the races out of the front hubs and I have a slight idea how to do that because I've been reading around trying to figure out little tips and tricks to get it all together. Basically gonna try what I did with the rear hubs, but since these are a little bit different and they have aluminum hubs instead of metal or iron, or regular metal, the contracting and discontracting of metals should make the races fall out of the hubs. I don't know how weird I can be on camera. If I'm really, 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 really weird, people are gonna be like, oh my god, he's so weird, but I'm just happy, so I don't know, and I'm weird. Also, I'm talking to a camera. I have no one else to talk to. Give me a break. I'll talk to you guys eventually, once you comment and subscribe and like. Okay, music!
Hi, it's me. I know you didn't want me to talk, sorry. That's in my car now. And it's very stuck. If I tried to get it out, well, for one, I'd be stupid, but also I'd have to cut a lot of things. Not 100% done. Honestly, we're just exhausted, so um, we're just gonna finish up for tonight. And I mean, as you can see, like, they're good. I'm, I'm happy. I'm very happy. Um, I actually did a few of them around the car. I don't like seeing my mistakes. I had no idea how much of a project this was. Wow. I mean, it doesn't look like we're almost there. Granted, I mean, it looks like a shell. And that's because it is. We're almost there, though. So the hubs are finally ready to be pressed back together with actual bearings and things of that nature. So I'll give you the rundown of what this is. And it's still warm. This is a hub, okay? So your lug nuts go into this and that's this is what your wheel attaches to basically, if you don't know. For bearings, bearings sit on races, okay? That's what those are. Those are races, those sit in here. But when you take a wheel bearing out, they get really stuck. Um, so what I did, I took the race and this was still in the hub and I welded a bead around the entire thing with two little edges that I could get the air hammer on. After it cools, because aluminum cools differently from steel, as I've said earlier, they literally just popped right out. It was so easy. That's awesome. I love that trick. If you don't have a welder, that kind of sucks because that's kind of the main point of doing this. The trick of doing this, air hammer and a welder. Great way to get races out of hubs. So those are ready to be put back together. Let's see, once those are together, I need to finish painting subframes. Cage is almost fully welded. Um, back bars will be very easy. And I talked to my painter and this should be going to paint in two weeks. Two weeks? And that will be going to paint. Great. Nick has finished his roll cage. See, it doesn't move. There you go. There's your proof. Thank you so much for watching. This is probably my happiest episode with the most amount of progress. And I don't know. Like, that is staying in there forever. Literally forever. That will never come out. That's just a big, big thing. It's a huge change. And I don't think I really wrapped my head around what I was getting into, but now I kind of understand and I'm kind of like, ah, track car. Yay. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I really like, I'm really enjoying the comments on a lot of my videos. Um, a lot of people are watching from all across the world, which is really cool. And I realize YouTube does this, but it's cool to get feedback from, you know, people in Australia even. So um, comments and feedback definitely help. Um, I've been loving it like crazy. And it definitely helps my enthusiasm to keep making videos and keep working on my car, so. Thank you for that. Thank you for watching. Have a good night.